Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation TV. In today's video, what are we talking about? And um, I had a question that I've been asked several times, and it's all about life in Qatar. We think about life in Qatar. Yes, life in Qatar or life in the Gulf countries generally, I guess I can say that. Yes. First of all, you need to know what are your aims, what are your objectives for you to be able to survive in this country or in these Gulf countries. Then something else I'll, I need to let you know is some people that tend to underestimate or people that don't put so much in mind is what you call the opportunity. Not everyone has the opportunity to get a visa to move to a foreign country. All right. But if you have that opportunity, or if you had that opportunity to come to these Gulf countries, then well, you must be lucky. Then you are lucky, or you're lucky at that same point. The people were left out. But the question is that, what is your responsibility as you being lucky? The responsibility that we have is to follow the law. Follow the law in that foreign country, then everything will be good for you. If they say, follow, don't do this, make sure you don't do that. If it is against the norms, it is against the labor law, it is against the articles, it is against the contract you sign, contract, don't do that. So that you can live amicably and finish up. Yes, well, most of us come from our countries, wherever you may be coming from, Africa, you may be coming from Asia, Wherever you may be coming from, for any professional work that you may come here, you're coming as a security guard, you're coming as a cleaner, a barista, housekeeper, in any format that you may be coming to, we have what you call expectations versus reality. As we are coming, most especially when you are being recruited by what you call the manpower agencies, for those people that have direct hire, it's probably good for you. For those countries that have labor pact or blubber agreement with most of these uh, Gulf countries, then that is good for you because you definitely know that as your way you're coming, everything will just be streamlined. But I'm also looking at those countries that do not have labor agreements. That for you to have a contract, you are supposed to have a subcontract from, from another big company through your manpower agent or your, your recruitment agencies. Definitely, I know even them are looking for money at one moment time and that's kind of business that we cannot do that with them. So they will definitely give you all the praises. They will tell you whatever they want, they want you to hear about the good gym, about the good sleeping, about the good heating. Definitely, that is what you call the language of customer care. You, you do that. So you'll have higher expectations as yourself to reaching these countries. Yeah, you'll end up that what you had or what you was told is something different. Yes, we do understand we all go through those situations, especially if it's your first time to come to this country. But remember, it is there is always a way that you don't have to give up. It is not the end. You don't have to give up. You do not have to give up. Because you might get surprised that you come to a company that it will not give you off every after. It will not give you off. You'll have to work a full year, 30 days. And if you are to get one, then probably it will be like one time in a month. And yet you are entitled to what you call four day off. Every week you are entitled to one day off. Because that only rejuvenates what you call the mindset or rejuvenates your brain and put you, keeps you afresh every single day. But there are companies that will not give you that. So that is what we say that you come with a lot of expectations, but you find the reality so different. You go to companies where you'll be washing for yourself. There are those companies that will do laundry. Uh, you'll find everything streamlined for you. You only have to wake up, take your shower, prepare yourself, get into the bus, report to duty. And those companies, and those other companies where you need to hustle so much to make sure that you learn part of the small skills that you did not learn from your parents or from your home country that can enable you to survive in one way or the other. So life will come a little bit easier for you if you follow the law. 
Know what are your targets. Know what are your plans. Obey your employer. Know what kind of contract you sign. There's what you call limited contracts. Then we all have what you call unlimited contracts. Some people sign for limited contract of two years and those that sign for unlimited contract of five years. But imagine a situation where you'd want to change before even you finish up the probation period, which I think companies are not going to allow. They cannot allow you. Because you feel frustrated with what you saw and you want to change before even your probation period. They will not allow. Even the ministry itself will not allow that. So that means you're bleaching the contract that you sign up with your employer. So, meaning that, what do I have to let you know is that don't have too much expectations. Just come into the country, follow the law, know your target, know your objectives, know your contract, make your plans accordingly. Yes, to avoid some of the expenses of cook for yourself. If the company can give you gas, Definitely cook for yourself. Why would you like to order all the time? 30 days you hit from the hotel or you pay to a hotel to do it for you. And yet you can do, for you, do it for yourself to save. Not all of us know how to cook. But these are skills that we get to learn every single moment of day. Not every, not every, every one of us knew how to wash for ourselves, but these are things that we get to learn our every day. Why would you wake up to take your clothes to laundry, to pay up for laundry, to do the laundry for you, and yet you can do it for yourself, to save? So those are some of the things that you definitely need to understand as you come to these Gulf countries. That, don't put your expectations too high. Some employers, some agents will definitely trade you about the higher salary, the benefits that you will be accrued to. But you find that when you definitely come this side, it's something very different. It is something very different. But that doesn't mean that you're going to give up. You have to persevere. You have to persevere and move on. For someone who is a fighter or someone who is resilient will fight until the end, until you finish up the time or the agreement you sign, then you can move on to something else. And that's what, what it will be like. So, most of the guys, this would be to the new guys. As you come, please make sure your expectations are not like, they're not too much. Make sure that you'll be able to handle whatever you find for you to live and for you to meet up with your targets or goals that you've set in life. Which is a very good advice for those people that are coming. I know there are a lot of opportunities that are going to come. Yes. Utilize those opportunities. When you come, make sure you utilize them to the fullest. We have people who came here for three months contract, for six months contract. Strictly for only World Cup, they will have to exit the country. But leave something that I need to let you know. The three months and the six months that you've got at that time is part of the experience in the Gulf country. So the next time you go to the recruitment agents to apply for a new job to come into the country on what we call a two years work visa, you already have what we call a work experience. It's already there. So you stand out from the rest of the people who are applying, which is very good. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It was a piece of advice. It was an advice for those people coming. Remember, there are a lot of opportunities that are coming down grow. We have the Expo 2023 Doha. It's coming on the round. That is 2023. We have the Asian Cups. It's also coming. So there's a lot of opportunities. Other festivals, other, you know, tournaments that will be arranged or organized in this country. So meaning that, don't put your hopes down. You still have opportunities to come. Just prepare yourself. Prepare the documents that will be needed. When till they ask for, then you'll get it all. Thank you so much. It's makes from the next creation. Don't forget to support this channel by subscribing. And if it's your first time, by the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because it will be updating you or it will enable you to get updates wherever you upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.